here today to give you an update on my traveler's notebook wallet. It's been a month since I set it up, so I thought it was about time to tell you about how I've been using it, as if I've been using it much, but more on that later, and tell you about how it's been working out for me. I also have here my what I call quarantine bag because this is where my wallet lives so I thought it would also be fun to show you what's inside along with my wallet. Okay, I'll zoom you in and we'll get started. Okay, so here's the bag. I don't know how to pronounce the app where I got it from so sorry if I got the name wrong but it's Sheen Shine Sheen something like that I was really looking around for a clear PVC type bag so I could easily disinfect it I wanted to just be able to spray alcohol or disinfectant on it and wipe it off and it's fine so that's why I call it my quarantine bag and I didn't have to worry about ruining the bag. I specifically looked for a really cheap one because I knew that it was going to get wet all the time. <laughs> anyway, so I like the chain that it came with. I just think that's so cute. And I attached this alcohol spray with a carabiner to the bag just for easy access. Okay, let's open it up. So inside, if you can see, there's my traveler's notebook wallet. And then I just tote around super minimal stuff with me because I know that whenever I'm outside, I don't take long, I don't dawdle. It's so sad, but that's how we have to do it these days <laughs> so there and usually I just try to bring all the essentials with me so aside from my phone this has my ID card on this holder I'm not gonna show you the back because that's where my ID is and this is my office access card so it's my company ID just so I have identification around with me. And then I have my house keys. They got tangled up. And I have a whistle and a flashlight there. And then I also attach this contactless tool for pulling open doors and pressing elevator buttons. That's so useful. A couple of extra masks aside from the one that I would wear I just think it would be nice to have extras just in case so this is a reusable one and this is a disposable surgical one since I double mask and then I always have lip balm with me so I have this Smith's Rose and Mandarin Lip Balm, one of my favorites, just here. Of course, I need hand sanitizer. And then I have another note contact tool. This is interesting, it's called the Zero Contact Tool. <laughs> If you open it up, you'll see that you can spray that with alcohol so that you can disinfect it. And then you use, you use this to pull open things when you're outside. And then here is a pointer, sort of, that you can also use to push elevator buttons and stuff like that. And it also has a bit of foam in there so you can spray with disinfectant after. 
and then here's my wallet so really i don't have much in this bag when i go out i'm in and out so really <laughs> there's not much to do okay so let me put everything back inside so i can show you the wallet So it just works like that. My lip balm goes here. My hand sanitizer. And then my keys. Oops. I need to find a better way to store my mask. Maybe I'm, I need a mask case for this. And then the tool. And that's it. Okay, so let me show you my wallet. So actually, I've only used this here at home because I haven't gone out at all. So we have our groceries delivered. My husband is a designated person that can go out of our house because we are currently under lockdown. It's a strict lockdown. So only one person can go out of the house these days. So my husband is that person. So I just use my wallet right now to make online purchases <laughs> since we buy everything online now. But I have this bag ready in case I really need to go out. <laughs> I don't know when, but it will happen. <laughs> okay, so opening this up. This is the Questernal Mini in the color Onyx from uh, Crazy About Paper. So I'm gonna link to the shop down below if you're interested. This is vegan leather. If you haven't seen the setup video of this one, by the way, you can click on this card to watch it. Okay, so I have this flap here just to hold this card as deco. And then I covered up my cards with sticky notes. The last time I showed you this when I did my setup. I used fake Starbucks cards um, to stand for all my other cards, but this time I have all my real cards in here. So these are my ATM cards. And then here's a Starbucks card, the real one. <laughs> but I don't really get to go to Starbucks these days, so this is lying dormant and I miss using it so much and here is my coffee bean card that is also dormant these days I miss coffee shops anyway so here's the zip pocket the first one I have washi tape in here and a journal card just for color and then what's in here i think these are my credit cards and then this is let me take a peek <laughs> yeah and then this is a cash card a debit card so i have my atm cards coffee cards and then credit cards and then debit cards And then here is the first craft folder. As you can see, I don't have any receipts to store. <laughs> this is supposed to be for any receipts that may accumulate when I go out and I would need to enter into my budgeting app. My husband and I do monthly budget meetings actually bi-monthly because we get paid every two weeks so every payday we hold a budget meeting 
and then we use an excel sheet to do that inspired by asia dang you can check her out on youtube she's kind of a financial whiz <laughs> just check her out she's cool and we use her budget sheet and then we enter everything into an app in our phones so that whenever we make expenses the budget's there and the expenses automatically get deducted from our income so when we have receipts we collate them and then put them in the app so these days i have receipts here at home but i'm able to put them into the app instantly when things get here like packages from online shopping or groceries so i don't have any use for this craft folder yet <laughs> And then here's the second craft folder so it holds cash and see this is the bill the peso bill that I put in here it's still untouched because I'm not really using cash these days <laughs> mainly we just use our phones to pay for things but it's ready <laughs> I'm maintaining an optimistic outlook that I will be able to go out but the Delta variant has to go away. And then here's the other side of the craft folder for more receipts that I still can't please yet. And then here's the second, the pocket. I have here my health cards and then all my other ID cards are here. So I cover them up with two journaling cards, so they're private. And then the next card pockets are for my food and shopping cards. So these are mainly rewards cards. So this is a rewards card from SM, a uh, department store. <laughs> And this is for Pancake House, one of our favorite restaurants. <laughs> and then this is for 7-Eleven. And then this one is, let me check. Okay, and then this one is my main ID card. It's a government card. So I have covered it in sticky notes for, so that, you know, you don't get to see it. I don't get to use these these days as well because the online sites that these places have don't take these cards. Why though? <laughs> and then I have the Lucky Magic the Gathering card here from my husband in the third zip pocket. And then here's a Starbucks card with a gin cover, gin from BTS. <laughs> Let me show you. It's a Starbucks card. It's an old one, so this doesn't work anymore since they changed their cards. But it came from my wallet, so I'm keeping it here. And then here's the coin zip pocket. The coins that I put in the setup video are still here. I haven't added any because I haven't left the house. And then this is the little notebook. So I've actually been using it just to... I just started the other day. I'm using it to track our online purchases. So I use I use my card so I usually I just use my either my debit card or my ATM cards to do debits online so when I do that I pull out the card since I need the numbers and the CVVs and then I write down the purchase here just so I can track and I can input into my cell phone app later so here if you can see we ordered kimono ken for lunch on saturday this was mac delivery from mcdonald's last friday and then 
this is our Pokemon Go app purchases. <laughs> we play Pokemon Go, so we track all the in-app purchases that we make. And then I think this is going to get longer when I do my groceries. Um, I will do my groceries list in here and then I will track the spending here. I just have this binder clip just in case and that's it you guys don't know how much I want to take this whole thing out <laughs> I really want to but no can do these days I'll probably give you another update in a few months we'll see if I'm able to go out by then but that's it that was pretty fun and pretty quick and that's it for this week i'll see you again next time thanks for watching bye